Uh, I came out of town to come to Crumble Cookies. This will be my first time here. Huh. Let's see what we can get. So first we have the chocolate crumb Oreo cookie. So it is a chocolate cookie made with Oreo pieces topped with the cream cheese frosting and Oreo crumble on top. It is supposed to be served warm. Next we have the lemon cake. It has two pieces of lemon cake with lemon cream cheese frosting, a lemon curd on the inside and garnished with a lemon slice. Next we have the banoffee pie cookie. So it's supposed to be a graham cracker cookie with caramel, banana, banana frosting, girl. <laughs> so many ingredients. Some with banana frosting, whipped cream, and dark chocolate shavings, okay? So next we have the Tres Leches cake. It's supposed to be a spice cake soaked in the Tres Leches sauce with whipped cream, um, Lotus Biscoff, cookie butter, cookies, crumbles, all that stuff. Okay, let's try it, girl. All right, y'all, so this is my first time at Crumble. I fell into the hype, y'all. I did. I don't know why. I see so many mixed reviews. I'm like, let me just try for myself. I'm one of them type, like, I gotta try for myself, be my own judge. So, here we are. So, they have different shapes, sizes, all kind of stuff. So, these four came to about $20. I think the lemon cake and the Tres Liches cake was like a $1.49 upcharge. <sighs> Do we even talk about price anymore? We, we know everything going up but the salary nowadays. So, I mean, it is what it is, okay? So, let's start with the... Let me turn it here. Right. Let's start with the chocolate cookie, Oreo cookie. So, they did have two more cookies. One was like the classic peanut butter cookie. And one was the chocolate chip cookie. We all kind of know what those taste like. So, I didn't want to like spend any extra money trying stuff that you know what i mean so this one they've had before they bought back the other three are new so mm -hmm. all right let's get it girl she's hefty it is it is a little warm very crumbly Whew. okay let's try it i'm nervous oh oh okay it's falling apart which is good i did bring me some almond milk from the house okay yum all right this is what the inside looking like all right let's try it mm. <laughs> wait Hold on, Crumble. Because I was trying not to like you. Because <laughs> the closest Crumble is 45 minutes away from me. I don't want to have to come down here every week. I don't. <laughs> so I, I did not want these to be good. But no, this one is really good. It's soft. I think because it's warm... It makes the cookie even better. If it was cold, it probably wouldn't be good, but it's like a ooey, like, you see, like, it's really soft and moist. Kind of, it reminds me more of like a brownie, maybe like a, a Oreo brownie than a cookie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This cream cheese frosting is really good. It's soft, it's light, it's not too sweet. Oh, yeah, and it's falling apart. So, you already know. That was good. The chocolate Oreo cookie, five out of five. <laughs> right, next, we have the 
banoffee pie cookie. So I did look up what banoffee was because I'm like, girl, what is this? I never heard of it. So it's a British dessert, which pretty much combines bananas, whipped cream, and caramel and graham cracker. This is served chilled, so it is cold. Well, it's like, it's cool, I'll say that. Oh, wow. I didn't think I would get a lot of banana flavor. It comes through so well. You know, one of my previous videos, I said I don't like banana flavor because it just tastes so artificial. This banana flavor tastes like real bananas. Like, it doesn't taste super artificial. The graham crackers separately, it's just really grainy, really sandy, which I mean, it's kind of what a graham cracker crisp type thing is, you know? Mmm. It's different. <laughs> I guess it would be like a banana cream pie. I guess I'm just not a fan of it being chilled because with the caramel, it just, it kind of makes it hard to enjoy for me, kind of. So I would probably give that one, <coughs> I'd probably give that one like a two out of five. It's not super sweet, which is really good. I. I really enjoy it when you got like frosting and whipped cream and chocolate. You have all these like sweet components, but yet it's dialed back in a way where it's not super sweet, which is really, really good. All right, next, we're gonna try the lemon cake. This lemon cake is very potent, very lemony smelling. Show y'all this lemon curd. Oh, they put quite a bit in there too, look at that. Oh yeah, they did that good, okay. I'm gonna take the lemon off, cause girl, when I bite it, I don't want no, nothing in the way, okay. <laughs> All right, let me see how I'm even about to do this. Why don't this come in a the cup? They think people smell the white pizza stuff and eat it with their hands. I guess, girl. <laughs> now I look crazy. <laughs> mm. No, that's actually really good. It tastes like a lemon cake with taste. This is supposed to be like a lemon uh, whipped cream. Lemon cream cheese, lemon, I don't know. Um, But it's a lemony. The lemon curd, nice and juicy. The cake is moist. I like this. It's messy, but. Mm hmm. Let me show y'all. Mm. See that curd? Ooh. Mm. That lemon curd put me in the mind of like a pineapple. Mm. It's good. It's refreshing. It's light. Let me find out I've been missing out, girl. No, this is actually really good. Mm. Okay. After three bites, it starts to get a little sweet. And I don't know if it's the buildup of like, this being the third thing that I've tried and they've all been like, not too sweet, but sort of sweet, like, you know what I mean? But the lemon cake, after like the third bite, Okay, <laughs> sorry, it got a little sweet. I've never had a Tres Leches cake, but I don't think I'm the biggest fan of like, let me just taste it. <laughs> okay, I feel so far away, but, uh, okay, ugh, you see it now?
the spice cake is really good also it's a layer of cookie butter on top of the cake and then the whipped cream and then the drizzle of the cookie butter and then cookie crumbles so the cake has good flavor i don't know if i'm the biggest fan of this like super wet tres leches I think it's mainly just like a texture thing. But the spice cake has really good flavor. It's nice and nutmeg, cinnamon. I like that part. Really one dimensional. Whipped cream is soft, the cake is soft. The cake is wet. <laughs> um, so for me, it's just, it has good flavor. It's just the texture. It's hurting my stomach a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty much what it's looking like. You don't really get too much of the uh, Biscoff flavor, in my opinion. Definitely more crumbles to add a little more crunch, or maybe like bigger, bigger pieces of the Biscoff cookie. Because the crumbles, you really don't even, you know what I mean? You swallowing it with the rest of the cake. So, you don't even necessarily get a crunch with the crumbles honestly i give it like a 3.2 out of 5. so i would say if you if you if you want to try crumble if you go into crumble get what you want of course <laughs> but i would definitely say try the chocolate crumble cake and the lemon cake they were five out of fives now let me know if you guys have tried crumbles the lineup this week if you plan on trying it if you like crumble if you like any other cookies let me know what your favorite is and all right y'all that's it that's all <laughs>